Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Talos Principle. In the last episode, we opened up this little area here so that we could desynchronize the bots. Let's see. I think that's desynchronized enough for my liking. Now that they've been desynchronized, all we have to do is dodge past them. But wait. Oh, I know, because we need to get the jammer all the way to here, so... What are we going to do about this? for us to... to use elevated ground on it. Oh, right, right, right. I know what I was thinking now. We take this... Oops, come on. And... do that. And then, now that we've got it blocked from the other side... Bam. We are done. That's all it takes. No, we are not done. Oh, yes, we are. Ooh! I am glad I did not mess that up. Where do we go? Past the robots, I guess? Yeah, I guess past the robots. Alright then. Ooh, that was a complicated one. I like it, though. So now, I think we just have one more remaining, right? Yeah... I've not seen this- wait. You're beeping again. What are you beeping about? I just noticed that the eye was moving. Here's what I've been wondering while you were off carrying out commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system. Arrange bits of matter in the right order and outsprings sentience. That's all very well on paper, but if what counts... But if what counts is what something does, not what it's made of, then couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans on strings that qualified as being conscious? Well, yeah. What a bizarre idea. I'll send you a notification when the signposts start complaining. <laughs> Seriously, though. Are the tides in the ecosystem sentient as well? Any organized system qualifies? Well... That's a tough one, because... People have been saying that, you know, cities and maybe the Earth itself might be considered alive under certain definitions. But it doesn't give me any sort of neutral answer. I have to either say sure, or ridiculous. I either have to say, I guess so, or no way! So, the negative answer is stronger than the positive answer here. I do not like the answers this game gives me. Ugh. Any organized system? I think I would have to say yes, because ants... ...individually... ...aren't really that significant, but... ...when you look at their behavior as a whole... ...it's similar to the behavior of neurons in... ...in brains. I'm going to say sure. I can go with that. You're quite mad, I'm sure of it. Of Do course. not think I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. 
His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Have faith in me and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. You're quite mad, I'm sure of it. Of course, the alternative accounts are also ridiculous. You'd be forgiven by any reasonable observer for choosing the best of a bad bunch. How consciousness can be so intimately familiar to you and yet so obscure, I just don't understand. Don't mind him, he's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to think a bit harder about all this and get back to me. I'm sure there's still progress to be made. Hmm... This is not where I was expecting this to go at all. <laughs> interesting. Things are beginning to develop in an interesting manner. The tomb. Hey. Okay, so I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils, I just don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world of his has no context, no purpose, and no foundations from which to construct them. I'm convinced there are answers here if we look hard enough. We have to work together on this. <laughs> okay, so that's our exit path. Right, right, okay. Got a laser... Which we do not have the ability to use yet. Probably gonna be somewhere in this room. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. How about... we try this first. Haha. <laughs> Interesting question you pose there. make this happen. Alright. What about... What if we instead bring in the jammer? Oh, I keep forgetting that. Let me do that. Thank you. Oh, okay. It was really that simple. Alright. We're almost done with whatever the play icon is, and I think we are fully done with this area. I don't remember seeing the star, though. I think I would like to take this moment and go back to... I want to go back and see what that QR code was that I missed. It was in the very first area. And also, I want to figure out if I can find where the star even is there. Well, maybe. If it's not to do with what I did with the robot and getting my friend the jammer, then I don't know what it is. Am I zoomed in again? Hang on a minute. Nope, I'm still at 90. Okay.
Oh my goodness. The lag is real. Holy crap, I think it was just loading this area. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh goodness. Please, stop lagging. <laughs> Where... Right here. Right. My goodness, please stop lagging. Wait a minute, what was that? I thought I saw something. Oh, it's this. I saw that. Never mind. Okay. Let's go and find... that QR code. Did I read this? I don't remember reading these. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs important to guide my steps. I am one of his children and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Interesting. Not sure I remember reading those. Alright, so... I believe it was by the ladder. Wait a minute, how are we supposed to... Like that, I guess. Was it this one? I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Yeah, I think that was the one that I missed. Interesting, so we cannot go back to the beginning. Oops, come on. Yeah, I think that's the one I missed. But as for where the star is, I have no idea. Yeah, this is the one we read. Oh well. I'll find it some other time. Let us go back to B. I'm probably gonna experience more lag from doing this as well. Oh, there's the lag. Yes, siree. It is indeed loading things. Loading, loading, loading. Rawhide! I promise never to sing again. And I will break that promise at a later date. Right, so we just finished up two, correct? Yep, yeah, okay. So now we have three. Let's see... Progress Report 9. From Bob Rakowski to Ian Mailing List, Progress Report 9. The basic skeleton of the simulation is now running on EL. 
It's not plugged into the AI system yet, but in theory, everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense? Or do we wait for the iteration module to blah? I was wondering when we were gonna start seeing blah. Welcome, Black Blah. The first wisdom, the scribe said to the dying man, is that as the world is made of five elements, so is the soul of a man. Know, therefore, that in this life you are heart and shadow and name, and also ka and ba. Without all these, you would not be a living being, but a thing. What is a man without a name who cannot speak of himself? What is a man without a shadow who is not anchored in the world? What is a man without a heart who can neither feel nor think? What is a man without a ka who has no essence? What is a man without a ba who is not himself, but like unformed clay? Therefore, praise Osiris, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, the eldest son of the womb of Nut, he who traverses millions of years in his existence. Here, the translator is clearly inserting his own beliefs onto the text as blah. Democrates alter, or on the just causes for war against the Indians, by Juan Gines de Cibble. I'm not going to pronounce that name correctly in a million years. Written in 1547 to justify the Spanish conquest of the Americas. The Spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of the New World, who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults, or women are to men, for there exists between the two as great a difference as, I might even say, between apes and men. Compare, then, these gifts with those possessed by these half-men, in whom you will barely find the vestiges of humanity, who not only do not possess any learning at all, but are not even literate, and eat human flesh? Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our domination, but to a servitude, a little less harsh, it will not be difficult for them to change their masters. Yeah, not agreeing at all with that. <laughs> I think we all know how that turned out. New texts added. Alright. Are those... Yes, those are QR codes. Well... After surveying the landscape, I have decided to go towards the QR codes. Theory. This place is some kind of preserve for human history, and we're the endangered species. Theory. Trying to find answers will only bring pain. Ceasing to care is the only escape. Theory. This guy is ten times more help than you, Samsara, so shut your face. <laughs> Theory. We're in some kind of incubator waiting to be hatched. Theory. If you knew how little you know then you wouldn't be exposing it here. <coughs> Metaphors for life. I'll take two, please. This is a big, vast open area. Wow. Then again, I think most of the areas are. Oh, I can't jump over this wall, are you serious? Whoa, this... this reminds me of Meteor. Can't ever pronounce that game, but it reminds me of it. So there's that. You know, the, the four-dimensional game? Some bits of the wall have fallen off in the fourth dimension. Oh no. Hey, what do you know? There is something over here worth exploring for. Body and soul. But it is commonly supposed that the Egyptians believed the soul to live as long as the body continued undissolved, and therefore tried this method of eluding death. Could the wise Egyptians, said Nikaya, think so grossly of the soul? If the soul could once survive its separation, what could it afterwards receive or suffer from the body? 
the Egyptians would doubtless think erroneously, said the astronomer, in the darkness of heathenism, in the first dawn of philosophy. The nature of the soul is still disputed amidst all our opportunities of clearer knowledge. Some yet say that it may be material, who, nevertheless, believe it to be immortal. Didn't we already read a document called Soma? Pretty sure we did. From Sun Ye Wing. <laughs> Ye Wing. Wei Yang. Arkady. Chernovsky. Subject names. Names are a funny thing. I remember how much we struggled to come up with a name for our project. All serious scientists name their projects by just translating them to Greek or Latin, right? Corpus made me think of some horrible disease, so I used the Greek word instead, soma. Quite appropriate. But then, since we needed to corporate since we needed corporate funding, we had to come up with a backronym. Corporations love backronyms, you know? They even sent us a list of buzzword heavy suggestions to help us get started. Stuff like self sufficient orthostatic modular android sustainable observant mechanized anthropoid skeuomorphic audit mobile anthropomorphic uh yeah after a while we got so frustrated that we started getting silly i am not going to read all those but stupid strange sentient superb satisfying stinky <laughs> In the end, we all ended up hating the name Soma just because we had so many fights about it with the sponsors. So when Alexandra told that story about the Talos Principle, blah caught on. I don't know whether it really fits, but I kind of like it. Alright. Let's actually go solve some puzzles. Are you serious? I forgot to mute my phone. Oh, and it's from Mosra. I can read that later. Mosra is a developer of a graphics engine that I am planning to use in an upcoming game that I want to make. Which will not be out within any time soon. Alright, we got more bugs and boxes. Let's see what we can do with them. Hmm... Let's look around before we make any rash decisions. What happens... Huh? What did that even do? Oh, I can carry the box. I- that would have been good to know. I thought I had to stand on whatever I put on here. If I drop the box in the air ahead of me, will I slam into it and stop? No, but I did put the box in there, apparently. Wait, there's a ladder there? Are you serious? I walked past this ladder and didn't even see it. Uh huh. Well. We have a box in here. <laughs> That's good, right? Did I run into the laser? Yeah, I'm blocking the laser, but not for a long enough duration. It has- for the player, it has a certain sort of, you know, uh, what's it called? 
There's a few moments where you can block the laser and it won't actually block it. But... I think I know what to do. You're coming with me, Box. Together. No, that is not fast enough. Wait a minute. Can I reach this and do something to it? Would appear not. This looks like a permanent relay or of sorts. I don't think I've seen that yet. You know what? Have I tried taking the fan off the hook yet? Huh. <laughs> well, I guess that's. That's, uh, that's one thing I can do, right? Man, I cannot put this anywhere on this thing. It always wants to attach it. Alright. What happens... ...if I stand on the box while I attach the fan? Actually nothing, apparently. come back to this one, because this is a half-hour episode, it seems. I completely lost track of time. So, as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, and sorry for the long episode.